In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create an ebook in Canva, and we're gonna do it in under 10 minutes, and we're gonna do it completely free, and we're getting started right now. Hey, Thomas Garrett's here, and if you're new to the channel, what we do here is everything make money online, affiliate marketing, and I like to do tutorials just like this one. So if that's the kind of content you like, go down below, hit that subscribe button, join the fam, but make sure you hit that notification bell too so you get notified every time I upload. Now, like I said, I told you I was gonna create an ebook in Canva in under 10 minutes for free right? But I'm going to show you more than that. So not only am I going to show you that, I'm also going to show you how to add links in your ebook. I'm going to show you how to make a 3D cover with your ebook. And I'm going to show you how to make a funnel for your ebook. That's the bonus at the end. And an extra, extra bonus, I'll give you my ebook funnel that I use after I show it to you, if you want it. Completely free. Anyways, let's get into the value. So first thing you want to do, obviously create an account for Canva. You don't need a paid account. Just a free account works fine. With the free account though, you are limited to 30 pages on your ebook and there are certain images you have to pay for, but the free images work just fine. So don't worry about that. So what you're gonna wanna do is you want an 8.5 by 11. So magazine cover, and it will show up as a US letter up here probably. Yeah, US letter, which is fine. But you can see here, they have all these templates, okay? So for example, you could easily pick one of these and then just use like the cover. And then there's some cool stuff you can do. So we can go to photos right here. And let's say we wanted this one instead. You can drag it over where you wanna change it and put it there, right? So super dope. Okay, so, and then control Z to undo. So let's see that again, right? Let's do it with this one now. You can put it right here or you can put it on the background, okay? So you just drag it to where you want. So you can do that, you can use the templates and then you can just edit everything. Super, super simple, right? Honestly, I would suggest doing that if I was you. However, if you wanna have something more like your brand color or you kinda got an idea or you're, and I'm not saying that I'm graphically inclined and you don't really have to be, but let me just show you my ebook. And it's funny because I actually did a video just like this one showing how to make an affiliate marketing ebook in Canva. I'll link it down in the description below, but that was my most popular video on my channel and I don't really talk about this stuff so I'm like dang maybe people like this kind of stuff and it's things like you need to have and you you don't need to do it yourself sure you could hire someone on Fiverr to do it but you don't know how it's gonna turn out and then you gotta pay and if you're bootstrapping it you don't got much of a budget it's super simple to do so anyways this is how you do that and this is mine right so I made mine all from like this was like a background and then I just added in the text. I made little square boxes and then added in more text. This is like an arrow. It's all super simple. These are just triangles with the transparency turned down a little. I mean, it's it's all black and red. Super simple, right? Super simple table of contents, the page numbers right there. And you can see that it's congruent. Each page is just a template. Okay, so let's get back to this. So the main thing you wanna worry about is getting a good looking cover. I would add in your name, just like I did up here you know, and then you add a new page. Okay, so we're going to go back to templates. So you can see right here where it says one of five, then it will have more than just one, right? So it'll have multiple pages. Okay, so you can find one that has like a table of contents like that, right? And you can just use theirs instead of doing it like how I did it, which is kind of ghetto, but it works, right? So you have to decide how you want to do it. And then you can just copy their formatting, right? Or you can do something simple like this, like how I did it, I'll show you. So literally all I did is I went to shapes, I grabbed this half triangle, I made it the size I want, and then I just went like this, 90 degrees, put it up here, right? And then I did the same thing over here, 180. And then I just did the same thing for the bottom. I picked the color, okay? So I picked, let's say I picked blue and black, right? And then I just made it like this and like this. Now I will tell you one thing, I kind of regretted doing this because for me, I had a pretty long ebook. I suggest not doing that just because of the time it takes, but you can tell like sometimes I could have put more text, but it got in the way. And these were a lot bigger at first, I just shrunk them down, but sometimes it like affected my title and just, just something like that. So you could do something even more simple, like just have like a box, right? And have it just like, honestly, just something like this and then put another one up at the top or whatever, right? It doesn't have to be complicated. You can do it so simple or you can just do the templates, right? Just like this. 
Anyway, so again, make the front page, make the table of contents. You could do it simple, just like mine. Just make sure you make your template like this one, right? And then all you do, let's just, let's make a little template real quick. Let's, uh, let's do something with some lines. Okay, so we'll grab this line and let's turn it. So let's do it like that. And then do another one at the bottom like that. And then we'll just make them um, black and blue. That could literally be your design. If you want to add page numbers, you can do that at the end or you can just add in the number and then every time you duplicate, change it. I would just suggest doing it at the end because especially if you're doing an ebook, you don't really know what order they're going to be in. Sometimes you might add some stuff above it, then you got to change all the numbers. Trust me, I know I did that multiple times. So anyways, instead of adding new page, what you're going to do now is you're just going to duplicate it. And then you're going to use that for every single page. You see, even just that little bit makes it kind of pop a little bit. So then all you want to do is just keep doing that. And again, I honestly suggest just doing like a guide or like a checklist or something simple, right? And you use the same framework as this when creating it. Okay, so now what I'm going to show you is how to add links. Okay, so let's add a subheading, then we'll just add in some text right here, you always want to make sure it's just lined up, right? So you always want to have all your text lined up. And you could do everything in the same box. But the reason why I don't suggest that is because you can only link to the box, you can't link to certain letters. So like I could make this whole box a link. And then what I did is I would when I have a link, I would just make it blue, right? So it, people know it's a link, right? Or like, right here, like I made it blue, but that whole box, if they click it, it will trigger the link. So that's what I did. It's totally up to you. You could use red. Like for me, I used a ton of different coloring because there's so much text. I tried to split up the text some. So again, it's up to you how you want to do it. It's your creative, but I would suggest definitely not doing everything all in one, especially if you plan on having multiple links. So what you would do is you would just go up here and then you can enter in your link and hit apply right? So super simple. So yeah, that's how you add links. But the most important thing is 100% the cover. Okay. And unfortunately, in Canva, you can't create 3d covers. However, there's a free website, and I'll link to that in the description below. So what you would do is we would just go here, we would download don't do PDF yet, we're going to go to PNG. Okay, and then just go to the front page and hit done download. Now we're going to go to a new page. So it's right here. It's DIYbookcovers.com slash 3D mockup slash number sign or hashtag. So it's super simple. They have all these options. You can make it on a little Kindle. You could just do a book with no spine. Or for me, you can see right here, this is mine. Okay, so I have it with the spine. And then if you're going to use the spine, I'll show you what you got to do then. Okay, so go back. So I have mine right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to create a custom dimension. It's 100 by 600. Okay, so we'll go back and I'll show you how to do that from scratch. So what you do is you create 100 by 600. Okay. And then the cool thing about this is Canva is so smart. They have all these templates. Okay, so you could do any of these templates again, or you could just put your website like how I did on mine simple affiliate marketing. Okay, super simple. Again, you don't have to complicate it. You can literally do this in 10 minutes. So anyways, you just pick whichever one you want, or they got the multiple ones. So that's kind of cool. But let's say you're going to do this one, right? So you click this, you go to next. Okay, then what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to drag your picture here and then hit upload. Okay, so make sure it's on the browse part. Don't put it on the upload, drag it onto the browse. Now for the spine, let's just use mine for example. So we'll just grab mine, hit upload, make sure you hit upload. So that it looks funny here, but don't worry. Okay, so then you go right here, you hit next. And then it says save your 3d image as a JPEG or PNG. So we're going to go down here, pick whichever one you want. We're just going to do PNG. And voila, look at that. I know it looks super weird with my <laughs> my spine on it. But you see how simple this is. I mean, people charge, I've seen people literally charging 50 to $100 just to do this, just that the thing that there's a free website to do that took two seconds. Okay, so please, please do not pay someone to do that. It's so simple. <laughs> Let me find my tab. I have all these tabs open. Now the last thing you're going to want to do, and I'm going to show you how to set this up in a funnel and how to sell it. But what you want to do is you want to go here, 
you want to go to download don't do pdf print do pdf standard and then hit download okay and that's how you make an ebook in canva in under 10 minutes right and you'd have to put some content in it right but anyways that's how you do that now there's multiple ways to sell it however do not sell it on kindle publishing on amazon because these do not work in that format just so you know but what you can do is you can go to a platform like ClickFunnels and I'll show you what I did. All right, so if you already have ClickFunnels, I can give you the share funnel for this. Just let me know in the comments down below. But this is my opt-in page. So free ebook reveals the simple solution to starting an online business, even if you don't know how, right? So it's super simple. That's all you wanna do is you just wanna keep it simple, honestly. That's the best way to do things. And then you can also sell it if you want, but I'm giving mine away for free as a lead magnet. That's what I suggest, but you're totally welcome to sell it if you want. And the only time I would say you should sell it is if you plan on doing like a one-click upsell onto something else related. But PDFs and stuff like that are typically a good lead magnet. And that's what I suggest doing. But then what I do is on the thank you page or the bridge page, I say, wait, do not close this page. And then I just introduce them into my offer, which is the first link in the description, which is a 15 day business builder challenge. And if you want to check that out, definitely go down below and check it out. And again, if you want this funnel, you can have it for free. Just let me know. If you want to learn more about online business and affiliate marketing, you can watch these videos right here. But don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and hit my face right here to subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. And again, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. And that's all I got. See you on the next video.